everyone, welcome to my channel, Beauty by Nisha. My name's Nisha, and today I'm going to be showing you the things that I bought from Pretty Little Thing, aka PLT. So I haven't tried anything on yet. This is my first review, my first impression. I'm actually just taking it out of the package with you guys, so I can show you guys exactly my thoughts when first taking it out of the package and see, like, is it what I expected it to be? Is the hype real about PLT? So if you want to know, don't forget to subscribe and continue to watch. Okay, so first things first, I'll kind of go over a few things with um, with you guys. So I bought these things from Pretty Little Thing. They do send and ship to Canada. They do have a Canadian site. However, the weirdest thing was that the Canadian site had absolutely like no sales on. They offered free shipping, but it was still within the UK. So it didn't really make a difference. I went to the US site and I checked to make sure that if I ordered in US, that they would still like ship to Canada. So I went to the US site and they had like 30% off, which was really weird because I was like, where's the discount for the Canadian? Canadian site because normally sites will have the same for US and Canada um, this just wasn't the case so I put everything in my cart on the Canadian site and then as well as on the US site and actually it still ended up being cheaper in US converted over to Canadian so I was like okay well I might as well just order through the US site because it's gonna be cheaper even when it's converted over to Canadian so super weird so if you're in Canada and you're wanting to order from pretty little thing just compare the Canadian site to the US site because sometimes they have sales on the US site so then this way you know like is it worth it to buy it from there and is it gonna be cheaper or is it just easier to just order in Canadian um, one other thing that's really really awesome is that the Canadian like the Canadian duties and taxes, they actually don't charge you for them. PLT actually covers those costs for you, which is a huge bonus because there's a lot of websites where you order from them and then you get this really exciting surprise bill that's like $50 additional because of duties and taxes. So if you're Canadian, you know how annoying that is when you get that unexpected duties and taxes fee. Okay, so let's get started with the actual unpackaging and first thoughts of taking the things out of the package that I ordered. So it comes in this really big bag. So it comes in this really big, like cute bag with unicorns on it. Super awesome, we love that. Um, and I'll show you guys what I got. So I got a few accessories. I got some bodysuits. I got some sweaters. I got some pants. Like I got, I think I got one dress maybe. Okay, so I'll start with the basics. So I did get some like basic oversized hoodies. So we'll see if these are actually oversized because you know me an oversized, and then when you get it, it's not actually oversized, and it's really annoying. So I got two oversized hoodies. Um, the same style, just. I mean, they're hoodies, so like, could they really be any different style? Um, two style, like two different colors, same style. I did go ahead, so and they're pullovers. So this one is just like the ultimate oversized hoodie. That's what it's called. And this one is in sand, so like a beigey color. It almost like has like a green undertone. Maybe it's just the lighting, but it actually looks oversized. So that's good. That's a bonus. Here is the white one. So, okay, yeah, it looks like it's like a little bit oversized. It's not like super long oversized, which is totally cool. I kind of wanted to just hang nicely. Um, so far the materials, it's not like super soft or anything, but it's not like horrible either. It feels like it could be pretty decent quality. Um, I mean, once we try it on, then we'll really know. But the inside is like, kind of like fleecy. So it's going to be pretty warm, I would say. Um, super like awesome for like summer nights or like winter, fall, whatever. Okay, so let's get started with the bodysuits. Um, I'll start with this one. So I got three bodysuits. Um, I kind of have a thing for bodysuits lately. I'm like obsessed with them. I love how much you can like dress them up, dress them down, however you want to do it. When you find the right ones, they're actually pretty comfortable. So it's pretty awesome like if you find good bodysuits. So we'll see how these ones are. So. Normally with bodysuits, I kind of go towards black and white all the time. 
Um, I don't think I ever really have any other colors. I think it's always black and white that I go for. When they're in other colors and I like the color, it's always freaking sold out. So this time I was like, okay, hey, I have to make sure I get bodysuits in a different color, but then I ended up just getting kind of this, these pink ones and then my black one. So I didn't get like a variety of colors. So this first one is called the Shape New Jersey V-neck bodysuit. So most of the stuff that I bought is part of their shape line. So meant for like more curvy girls. Okay, so this is like just your basic V-neck t-shirt bodysuit. Super cute. It's really soft actually. Um, it seems like it might be a little see-through so you might want to use like the right bra underneath. But other than that, the V-neck isn't like too too deep I would say or too wide. But we'll see when we try it on and actually see if it like works. Okay, and then the second pink like bodysuit that I got, this one is the Shape Nude Slinky Zip Detail Scoop Back Bodysuit. Um, so this one's like super cute. It's got like the zipper in the front and then it kind of like scoops in the back there. The material is actually pretty cool. Like it's um, like it's pretty like slinky I guess you could say um I like that it has like a bit of sheerness to it because it's gonna be something that's really nice to like dress up if you're going out or something you could pair it with nice like high-waisted shorts you could make, even probably wear it with like high-waisted jeans or even just like a skirt or something I think it would pair really nicely and I like that I could dress this up like a lot if I wanted to bonus and then the last bodysuit that I got was just like a black one and it's like Got like cute little buttons on the front, a little bit of like a v-neck and like spaghetti strap. The back doesn't really scoop or anything too much, which I don't mind. So those are bodysuits. I mean, they're pretty soft. The material feels pretty nice. It doesn't feel super cheap or anything, so that's good. Um, but we'll tr like see when we try it on and actually see how it fits. Um, so far, not bad for just like opening. Okay, so next I just got like these black high-waisted like type leggings. They're ribbed as well. So we'll see how those look like for ribs like they feel super nice like most of the time when you have ribs up they it, it's like that I don't know how to describe what kind of material it is, but it's like a material that I don't usually like or it's like really stretchy material Whereas this one like it seems like it's stretchy But it's actually not as much give as there usually is when you buy things that are ripped um, I mean they look pretty nice I feel like I could maybe even dress them up with like this type of material like in the photo They look more like casual, but I mean like in person they look like they don't actually look as like casual as I thought they did like I might even be able to dress them up a little um they have like a nice like sheerness to them too and then the next thing that I bought as well as I bought I'm gonna try this trend out the cycling shorts so Kim Kardashian totally brought these this whole like cycling short trend in and I've always been really curious I was like yeah I'll start with like a black pair but I really like the whole like gray and like beige pair but like um I'll start with black first and see if I even like them because black also looks more flattering anyway so these are the cycling shorts they are rib style just like the high-waisted um, high-waisted leggings this one is the shape black rib cycling shorts the ones that I wanted that had like this like the sheerness actually were sold out so I didn't get those ones so maybe next time if I like stuff from pretty little thing then I'll order them so I just went and ordered these ones for now I mean, they look like they're gonna be pretty flattering, I hope. They're not, they don't look as like tight as I expected them to, but we'll see when I actually try them on. And then I did buy these just like cute set. They were sold separately from each other, but it was a really cute set and I really wanted it, so I went ahead and I bought it. So the set came with this cute little crop top. It kind of like folds over in the middle, and this crop top is called Shape White Rib Bardo Crop Top. Um, it's really cute actually I'm pretty like it's got a nice like stretch at the top so it looks like it'll be easy to put on it came with a skirt or like it was paired up with a skirt which is why I really like this set um I was actually worried that the skirt was gonna be too short but it actually looks like it's like the perfect length it's really cute and the skirt is called the shape white red bodycon skirt so bodycon is always a bonus because it hugs you and makes your curves stand out um, I'm actually, I was so worried this was like, in the photo, like it looks like it's like this short. And then I did get a dress 
So I only got one dress. So this dress I bought because I did need a dress for like a wedding that's coming up. And I originally wanted it in like a nudie pink color. Um, but that's like the color of the wedding that I'm going to. But I really want it in a light color if anything. So I got it in this like mauve color. I think it's more like a lavender like more on the lavender side um, but it's like a midi dress so this one is actually called the Laurel Mauve Wrap Front Crepe Midi Dress um, it looks really nice actually I think it's gonna be it looks like nice and classy but summery at the same time hopefully it fits really nicely and it's like perfect for a wedding okay so then I'll get into like the last few things that I got so I got three sets of like pajamas because well I needed pajamas for the summer as well as their pajama sets were so cute so I had to I had to get them um, I'm really particular about my pajama sets like the shirts have to be loose I don't really like really really tight pants when I'm sleeping I don't really find them that comfortable the first one is the you've got a you've got a peach that's what it says okay so this is the top and it says you've got a peach of my heart it's so cute like <laughs> I mean, no one ever really sees pajamas, but I mean, whatever. Like, it's nice to wear cute pajamas sometimes. They're like long and they're kind of thin, but they, I feel like they look like they're gonna be, it's almost like they might be too big for me, but we'll see what happens. I'll try these on as well. Okay, and then the second one is, it's like white tan lines, good time. So this is the top. It looks like kind of like a crop top. I don't know if I want to wear that to bed, but we'll see what happens. Um, and it says tan lines, good times. Super cute. It looks like it's actually pretty loose fitted, so that'll be comfortable. It'll be pretty good for the summer, especially because when it gets hot. And it comes with shorts. So the shorts also look pretty loose. I'm worried that these are going to be too big because this waist is really big, but we'll see what happens. And last but not least, I think this one is like my all-time favorite. And this one is called the How I Roll Sushi PJ Set. Okay, so here is the top. That's how I roll. It's got a little sushi. I love sushi, so I'm actually going to have all you can eat sushi tonight. So and then it comes with these cute pants that have like little sushi rolls. Okay, and last but not least, I did get a few accessories because, well, well, mainly earrings and like a cute little headband, but because I just like needed more things to like accessorize with, um, but I just don't have a lot of earrings and I wanted some really nice earrings, so I got some hoops. Um, I actually got two pairs of hoops. So I got these hoops here. They have like a twist in them. Yeah, these ones are pretty big, but um, they're super cute and I really like them. I like big hoops like this. I kind of have a look that I'm probably going to create with these. If you could probably guess, maybe you can, maybe you can't. Um, but I'm actually really excited to wear these hoops. And they're like, like they look big and they look like they would be heavy, but they're actually really light, which is good. And then I got these really cute pineapple earrings. I thought that these were so cute for the summer so I had to get my hands on them they're like they're not really heavy either which I was worried they were gonna be really heavy but it's nice that they're not um, but they're kind of like hollow inside as well they're not solid all the way through um, but they're so cute they're gonna be so good for summer I can't wait to like create like a bright colored look for like summer with these and then I just got like a really cute like hairband so here's the hairband, it's like a silky kind of material. Um, they had like a black one, but I wanted a white one because I thought it would be nice, even nicer for like the summer to like dress it up with some looks. I think I might wear like a nice cute like bun or like my hair half up. I don't know, like you can do so much with this. Okay, so now I'm gonna go try everything on and then we're gonna touch base and like I'm gonna tell you guys my thoughts on like actually trying them on, if I like them. So, Okay, so I tried everything on. I'm actually filming this second part of the video after, like the first part because I did it yesterday. Um, I, after I tried everything on, I was like really tired and really hungry and I had a birthday dinner to go to. So I decided to just film the rest of it today. Um, so first I'll start with the bodysuits. So the three bodysuits, the first one that's like the slinky zip up one, um, that one was not exactly what I expected. Most of the bodysuits, well the two pink ones were really like 
tight and like pulled a lot up here like in the chest so I was kind of like but it's like made for curvy people so why would it pull so much but maybe I'm just more busty than usual the best bodysuit was the black one the black one fit the best as well as the material was the nicest um, I didn't pull that much but as you could tell by the material it's got a lot more like give to it um, also the material is just like softer and I felt nicer um, and then the hoodies so the hoodies I only tried on one I didn't try on the white one because I have makeup on and I did not want to get makeup all over my new white hoodie that I'm not actually wearing out um, the hoodies fit like usual like they're tight up here which is nice because I don't like when it's like too loose um, and then they like they fit really like loose everywhere else so it was like pretty much oversized it's exactly what I expected um, the material is like okay it's not as nice as some of the other hoodies that I have like say from boohoo or say like misguided um, but that's fine besides the point like they're not a horrible material they're just not as soft as I would like them to be I guess and then the pajama sets so the pajama sets are perfect like you can't go wrong they're super comfortable they feel really nice um, the what the shorts were actually like kind of sat high waisted which I was worried because the top is like kind of like a crop top style uh, but it was like actually pretty good like it actually looked really nice um I mean they're pajama sets so I'm not gonna go out with them but I mean they were comfortable so that's what matters and the material is so soft okay and then the bottom so the high waisted leggings at first were really really tight and I was really nervous I was actually gonna rip them and it's not tight in the waist because the waist sits like high waisted so that's all fine it was because like the bottom of it like there's not very much stretch so I like couldn't really hike them up too far because I felt like I was gonna like rip them because like like either my calves or my thighs or something were too like big for them um but eventually i did get them up and then they were pretty comfortable they didn't feel like super tight like i expected them to they i guess it was maybe because like they just needed to be kind of broken in and then the bicycle shorts like i actually really like them they look really nice um they're super comfortable the only downside to them is they're really see-through like you'd have to choose like the right undergarments I'd have to like test them out because I don't even know what color you could wear because no matter what color you wear they kind of stick out like you could wear maybe you could wear beige I don't know I have to try it okay and then the white set so the white set the top was a little tight in the chest again and this is like from their shape line I thought like in here it would have like a little bit more give because that's how it looked like how it seemed when I first like pulled out of the packaging but the thing is is that like there actually isn't that much give so it does get a little uncomfortable and it like sits like right up in my armpit so like I'm like damn like if I went out I probably wouldn't want to be like dancing or anything because it's first off is white and second it's like it's like right up in my armpit so it's like it's kind of uncomfortable like if you were sweating and stuff like maybe wear it out to like a nice dinner like a low-key like birthday party but I wouldn't wear it like dancing or clubbing if it's like up in my armpit but the, also while well, the skirt was really nice like it sits really high-waisted like the set is so cute like I'm I'm happy that it was like actually like really cute and like once I put the skirt on it um, it like was high-waisted it looks really good with the top and like besides the top feeling like a little bit too small it actually like looks really good because I'll still wear it so but the skirt like in the front is not see-through at all so that but when you turn around it's like is dead ass like see through like you can see everything so I was like geez like <laughs> damn it like the front like is so deceiving because I'm like yo you can't see anything and then you turn around and you're like you can see everything in the back so the material is a lot thinner because like the front has like the swoop over so it's got like two sets of material over top of it basically so that's why it's not a see-through but the back is not like that so you have to choose the right undergarments for it and then last but not least the dress I was a little disappointed with how tight it was so it's from like the regular lines not the shape line so but like for me I think I would have to buy things in shape or if I'm gonna buy the regular line I think I need to go up a size um, so the dress like was a pain in the ass to get on and off which is the worst because normally I get changed after I do my makeup because sometimes when I do my makeup I'm worried that I'm gonna get makeup on when I'm wearing so in this case I think I would have to put the dress on first and then just like wear like a tarp or something <laughs> so I don't get makeup all over it but it actually looked really good when it was on so maybe would have gone up a size 
in just like the regular line but it's the only thing I got in the regular line that wasn't like PJs all in all like I'm not like thoroughly disappointed but it's not exactly what I expected like I guess I expected a little bit more based off of like what I've heard and what I see like on social media and stuff but that's why I wanted to try it and buy a few things so that I could see for myself like is it really worth it I think I would still buy some stuff from there however I don't know if I would ever buy anything regular price I probably would wait for a sale if I could find the same things like on Fashion Nova I would probably buy that set on Fashion Nova over Pretty Little Thing because I know Fashion Nova fits my body type perfectly whereas Pretty Little, Pretty Little Thing maybe like their shape line isn't exactly what you expect some things like I'm I don't really know if I need to go up a size which is kind of the hard thing because I feel like it fits once it's on but then like certain things are a little tight so it's like if I go up a size is gonna be too big like it's kind of tough so I might have to do another order but maybe order some things in their shape line maybe a size up and see how that goes and then you know I can see if like that maybe I'm just ordering the wrong size so there you have it my pretty little thing haul thanks for watching and thanks for you know being interested and in seeing like is it worth it is it good for your body type if your body type is similar to mine would I recommend it will I buy from there again what would I recommend over it like I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video as well as um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Bye.